to run the track. unboxing today and today it's a, another mystery box and it is the BAM box exclusive horror horror one horror BAM box I'm not sure if it's the horror pack or what it's called it's horror theme though and I got this for half price that's the only reason I probably did it and now since I forgot to cancel, I paid full price for a second month. So I guess I'll be unboxing that one as well. But then I canceled it. Maybe I'll re renew up if it's really good, but kind of doubt it. I, I, the mystery boxes are usually hit or miss, more so miss than hit. But I'm going to unbox this. There's supposed to be an autograph in here. I, I think there's an autograph in every band box. And I wanted to try it out. I've done a few in the past, such as a uh, horror pack. Um, there's uh, DC Marvel ones I've done. My girlfriend's done the Harry Potter one. So I've done a few of these and I do enjoy them. I unboxed the Spider-Man one a few videos back if you want to check that one out with my girlfriend. She loves Spider-Man. We're gonna crack into this now and see what's inside and there's a nice dent on this one so hopefully nothing's damaged but i'm gonna try to remove my address boom and we're gonna get a knife i'm gonna try to get a better angle for you guys to see and crack into this all right so got a knife safety first don't use this if you're little <laughs> ask your parents but uh you know open it i left it sealed so you knew that everything's genuine and i didn't look yet and put the knife away because my dumb ass will probably cut myself and let's see let you guys see it before me because I've never gotten this and to be honest it seems very empty but we're gonna take this out first oh it's a glass bottle could be plastic Cur Curveza Chango it's an empty glass bottle I'm going to be honest, I don't know what this is, and I believe the theme was Nightmare on Elm Street, Scream, one other thing, and um, Devil's Rejects, so I'm going to guess that's from this since I haven't watched it yet. Put that off to the side. Paper. I see a pin. Another, okay, this is the Devil's Rejects. It's the clown. Let's take the plastic off so it's not as... I can take the plastic off. Candy, designed by Nick Kokoza. That's from the Devil's Rejects. I know the clown guy. I gotta watch this, because I, I, Rob Zombie's hit or miss, but I've heard that's one of his best ones. And I guess that's, there's two items left. What is it? Oh, it's an autograph of a chalkboard. Well, that's the autograph and it has a certificate of authenticity from... This item has been hand signed by Ricky Dean Logan who played Carlos in Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. It was signed during a private signing for BAM for the BAM Horror Box and is guaranteed to be authentic. All right, I mean, that's cool. I would have wished for maybe a little cooler of an item and maybe a cooler person, but I paid like 12 something for this or like 15 maybe. So that that's a cool item. I mean, it's cheap, like it's a little cheap thing. 
But I guess for the money, definitely worth it. Especially for Nightmare on Elm Street fans. What I am, but I'm not a... I like the first one. I like a few of the sequels, but I'm not a diehard fan. One up, I believe, because I watched some unboxings, that this means that one of the items is signed. But this is in all the boxes from what I was told. Or what I saw online. That all the boxes had one exclusive signed item. So I guess this might be it. Oh, that's pretty cool. Okay, see, I like this. It's a horror, BAM horror, certificate of authenticity. It's the mask from Scream, and it's a really cool artwork. And there's a little signature for the artist, I'm assuming. Killer mask has been hand-signed by artist Frank Dean for the BAM horror box, guaranteed to be authentic. All right, so we got an art print, what I actually really like this. An autograph, what, yeah, it could be better, but it's pretty cool. I, I'm gonna keep it. A bottle from, I'm assuming, the Devil's Reject, so when I watch that, maybe this will be cooler. Pretty cool pen. Like, th that's actually a pretty cool pen. I'm not a fan of the movie yet, but it is really nice, and I like enamel pens. I have a backpack filled with pens. And that's it. So, so that's everything in the box. Now we're just going to look at the little sheet that tells you what comes in it. Because I, I, I like that they put that on the bottom face down. Or at least that's where it was this time. I don't know if that's an every time occurrence. But this ruins the surprise of it. I don't know why anyone would want to read this beforehand. But um, so there was two limited items of pin. And I actually prefer this one than the other two, so I am happy about that. What are the other two from? I think they're all from the same movie. Oh, and they're numbered on the back of the... Oh, well, the the, uh, the other ones are numbered on the back of the pin. And then the variant of this is, like, the same thing, just a red tint. And that's limited to 500. I actually prefer the white one. You can see that there. This is from... Oh, from Dust Till Dawn. Yes, I do want to see that. I haven't seen it yet. I'm pretty sure Tarantino's in that and might have wrote it or something like that, but I know he's in it. So I definitely want to check that out. I haven't yet, so I'm slacking, but there's so many movies out that, of course, I'm going to miss them. And then the autograph, what that seems to be in everyone's box. This little thing. I mean, it's cool. Not the best thing in the world. I'll, I'll definitely keep it. It's very cheap. But the only thing I'm confused is the one-up thing. The, you got a one-up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Where? Where? Because everything in my box is the standard editions. What I'm fine with, because to be honest, I'd rather have those. It's just, why put this in there? Unless it was just a mess up on BAM boxes side, but... Or if I'm not getting which one's the limited one. But, all in all, would I pay 32 for this? Mm hmm I, I don't think it's really worth 32 This, to me, is really cool. Like, I don't know if others would like it, but I think this is a really cool print. I'm going to frame this. This is cool, but it's not anyone really noteworthy. I don't... I've, I've seen um, Freddy's Dead, but I can't remember it to save my life. I... I love Freddy and Nightmare on Elm Street as a franchise, but that's one of the ones that I don't remember the best. So it's cool. It's a little cheap, whatever, but it's cool for the shelf. The pin's really nice. It's good quality. I just have to watch the movie. But all in all, I'm glad I paid 15 for this box. I, I will have another box coming next month, unfortunately. Not un unfortunately, because... 
I was trying to cancel it. I never signed up for the, uh, like, an account. I just did a guest. So I couldn't sign in and cancel. And then I got charged again, and I have no luck getting in contact with Bambox, which is kind of a downer on the company, for me at least. But I got charged for a second month, and then finally I, f I figured out just go to PayPal and deny future purchases, but I that one already went through. So I guess I'll be getting the June box as well to unbox for you guys, and that one will be full price. So hopefully I like that one a lot more. Hopefully it's like a great box because I'm very disappointed in that, and I can't get in contact with them, so I guess I'm stuck with it. But if you guys like the box, let me know what you like in the box. Do you guys have band box have you ever done band box if you've done any other boxes what boxes should i look into doing because i do enjoy doing these here and there when i have a little extra cash so which one should i look into do you like loot crate i know does boxes let me know what are some of the best ones out there so i can maybe look into trying them and unboxing them on the channel for you guys so like i said earlier i know i've been rambling a little subscribe comment like the video, hit the bell because YouTube doesn't, subscribe doesn't really mean anything anymore. You have to hit the bell and share it to some people who have the same interest as me and you. Share it around to fellow movie lovers. That way we can all just build a community, build some friendships. And does the best part of YouTube and Instagram is doesn't matter where we are in the world because we're just a text away of having conversation about the things we love and that's what social media should be for so subscribe hit the bell see you next time